We're asking ChatGPT to create a trading strategy for the SPY based on gamma exposure. Obviously, giving us the background on how gamma exposure works. If you've watched any of our videos before, you know that gamma is measuring the rate of change of an options delta with respect to the underlying assets price. So Gamma is basically measuring the acceleration of option pricing as the underlying stock moves. Yeah, so a real world application, how we use gamma, these bars show the net gamma at each strike. And one way that we use gamma is to look for the larger clusters. You know, the, the higher the bar, the more gamma that's there on a net basis. And that can often serve as a, a target for price. So 545 SPY right now looks like a, you know, looks like a solid target. So Chad GPT is basically giving us all the background, how to collect the data. We've got to calculate gamma exposure, aggregating gamma across the options chain. In this generation, the strategy components, of course, are again, data collection, the options chain, gamma exposure analysis. So when gamma exposure is positive, we expect lower volatility, Market makers are hedging, obviously, by buying into dips and selling into rallies. And it's the opposite in negative gamma. Market makers are hedging by selling dips and buying rallies. So two different uh, environments that gamma exposure can be in. If you look down here, we're talking about the implementation steps. And so you can actually do this manually and you can actually calculate the gamma exposure at a particular point in time for a particular ticker. And so we used to actually do this before we built out our application. We were calculating gamma exposure manually for the day and creating a model based on that. Now we've advanced. And so we built out this application since then, and we're actually calculating gamma exposure in real time every 60 seconds, updating for every ticker that we cover. And so here's a great example. Market is trading live right now. The largest gamma exposure, as Sean was just mentioning, is at 545. And we see that price is trading right up into that gamma exposure level. That's kind of been the target for the last week or so. And price is really just ramped up right into that level. There is some potential for the 550 strike uh, to come into play as we see gamma exposure growing at that strike. So if we do see another ramp up into the 545 or 550 level, according to chat GPT, that could be a reversal zone. And so that's why we've got this dealer cluster highlighted here, because this is an area where dealers are going to be the most active as price comes up into that level. There's a potential for a reversal or at least a pause in that area. And so that's important information for us to know. So chat GPT hit that nail right on the head. That's exactly what we want to be doing in a positive gamma environment like the one we're in right now. Another thing that ChatGPT is recommending is to define thresholds for positive and negative gamma exposure to classify the market environment. So, for example, we built a gamma exposure intensity gauge to basically compare the gamma exposure level. Currently, it's about half a billion. And this is comparing it to the historical gamma exposure ranges, which you can see on the high end is 4 billion and on the low end is negative 4 billion. So that's kind of the ranges that we've seen at the extreme in a historical basis over the last several years. So this gives us a really good threshold to see when and where we may want to enter positions. Yeah, you can see on the gamma exposure chart that we have this dex weighted volatility gauge. It's very low right now for SPY, 3.1. And so one way that we use this, when we identify a gamma target for a particular ticker, we'll look at what the implied volatility is. And that actually helps us to formulate how we construct the trade. And I like this other suggestion that ChatGPT is giving us <clears throat> in positive gamma environments. We may want to enter long trades. You can see right here, it's talking about entering long trades when the SPY price falls below a moving average or other support levels. So this is really talking about how you can combine gamma exposure data with technical analysis using move, moving averages, trend lines, other technical indicators like that. Same thing in a negative gamma environment. 
basically entering trades on price breakouts above resistance or shorting on price breakdowns below support levels. So ChatGPT giving us a really good framework for, for trading concepts, especially if you're new to gamma exposure or you're new to trading in general, this can just kind of get you on the right foundation. We actually combine some of some technical analysis with this data and we try to identify supply and demand levels as, as I mentioned before with these dealer cluster zones. And even here, just looking over the last few days on the SPY chart, you can see how SPY basically bouncing right in the same level with the bottom dealer cluster, which was a support zone, and now starting to just pause here right under this other dealer cluster here, which is our resistance zone. These levels can obviously change as time goes on. They're not static because we're calculating this in real time. And so as the market trades, as new buyers and sellers come in, as the options market gyrates, these levels can change over time. So especially if you're trading intraday, you want to constantly monitor the gamma exposure data and combine that with your technical indicators. Yeah, so I've appreciated this new tool, the historical GEX because now we can compare uh, historical highs and lows on the GEX chart to the price chart, and you can start to draw some conclusions about what tends to happen at certain extremes. So that's been pretty helpful as well. Just scrolling further down, you can see there's also example code given if you wanted to include this in some sort of Python script or something. So I'm sure the question on everybody's mind is, what are the results? How good does this strategy actually work? Well, we've been using this in our community Discord for the last four or five months, and we've been tracking our results basically since between February and the end of May. Closed position so far, we've got a total realized P&L of around $7,000. That's on a $10,000 account. So really nice returns over the last four months. You can see our win rate is just above 50%. So it's not a huge win rate, but the key is that our average winner is larger than our average loser. And that's because we use an asymmetric risk reward strategy focusing on gamma exposure. So as chat GPT has pointed out, you've got to first identify if you're in a positive or negative gamma exposure environment and then trade based off certain thresholds, combine it with other data like technical analysis. And so the portfolio strategy portion is going to really put you over the edge though, making sure that you are having the best chance of success uh, when comparing your average winner to your average loser. There was about 47 trades that we took during this period. The number of transactions here is because these are multi-leg strategies, credit spreads, debit spreads, butterflies, things like that. So I'm actually pretty impressed with ChatGPT and its responses. It's not a very detailed explanation, but the overall framework that it's giving us is pretty spot on. And if you guys are interested in learning more, you should definitely check out our community Discord. You can hop in there for free. We've got a, a large community of active traders who share ideas and we're constantly posting data and analysis from our gamma exposure dashboard. So I'll put a link in the description below if you guys are interested in checking that out. Also, if you guys are interested in accessing the gamma exposure tools and data that we have available, you can go over to geeksoffinance.com. We've got a number of different features that we have accessible on our dashboard and we're adding new features and tools. And so you guys definitely want to check that out when you get a chance. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.